They will have a honeymoon run though. They will have just the sweetest run from the media and it will be such a short period that they're there that probably the scrutiny isn't going to be there. So they're going to get all the benefits of the honeymoon and, and none of the scrutiny and... I don't know. I think if they, but it will speak of absolute chaos within the Democrats if they're switching their presidential candidate this late in the game. Um, and I mentioned Joe Biden spending time with the grandchildren earlier and the ones he acknowledges. Here is the mother of uh, Hunter Bi Biden's child, a little girl called Navy, who the Biden family pretends does not exist. Here's the child's mother speaking with Seb Gorka. Your daughter can't be Navy Biden. She can someday. We agreed that she can someday if she chooses that. But, she but right to, now? But right now, she is a Roberts. Why? Why? What, what, I mean, this is his daughter, correct? Correct. Absolutely. And it's, it was proven with scientific certainty. And we mustn't forget, Alex, that she was forced to go through the courts just to get child support from that deadbeat core enthusiast. It really is just such an appalling situation. And the fact that the extended Biden family, that the first lady and the president do not acknowledge this little girl is so cruel and, and callous. And it seems to be not remarked on much at all. Well, the left wing media doesn't want to bring this up. And I've had the, the opportunity to speak to London Roberts. And one of the craziest things about this entire situation is the fact that Navy Roberts is Joe Biden's blood granddaughter. She is connected to the president of the United States, but they are refusing to give her any Secret Service protection or Secret Service detail whatsoever, which to me mm -hmm. seems like a big mistake considering there's all these crazy Palestinian protesters. There's, there's all kinds of crazy people that would like to attack Joe Biden, believe it or not. And I think that that's an easy target, having Navy Roberts, the granddaughter of the president, but not allowing the granddaughter to have any Secret Service. It just seems like a waste of government resources when they really should be protecting the president's family. But since Joe Biden won't acknowledge her, the, the poor baby is left very vulnerable, in my opinion. Yeah, she's not allowed to use the Biden name, despite Hunter Biden being proven to be her biological father and she's not invited to to all these events because the Bidens are very loud and proud about their family, about spending time with their grandchildren. They shoot all these videos with all the stockings lined up during Christmas time. And Navy is obviously never included in any of that. Now, it's easy watching the debate, Alex, to feel sorry for Joe Biden and this dramatic deterioration that we see. But let's not forget how he has weaponized the justice system to persecute his biggest political opponents. And it's not just Trump, it goes beyond that. And here he is after the debate. And listen to what he says when the crowd are chanting, lock him up. He's got more trials coming up. Time for that. You know, Trump joked about locking up Hillary, but her litany of offences was never really properly investigated. Meanwhile, the Democrats are using lawfare against their political opponents. And here you've got the, the president playing up to that. Uh, and, and Trump could be locked up or under house arrest very shortly. Well, they have to lock up President Trump because that's the only way they, they can beat Trump is doing it in some sort of weaponized fashion where they can throw him in jail. And let's be real. Hunter Biden did illegal business dealings with the Ukraine and in and, and the leaked emails and the leaked laptop is very obvious that the 10 percent that he was giving to his big guy was his father. And on top of that, Hillary Clinton had a server with hundreds of thousands of emails that she deleted, that she destroyed. So none of these politicians are perfect. Once they start throwing their political political opponents in jail, it shows you how corrupt they truly are, because if they were living a life with uh, no skeletons in their closet, they wouldn't be trying so hard to put Donald Trump in jail. But they're afraid that if he gets into office, that he'll be able to expose a lot of the, uh, you know, illegal business dealings of not only the Biden family, the Clinton family, and maybe even the Obama family.